This is the HyperX SoloCast. It's a $60 USB desktop microphone aimed at content creators, streamers, and gamers. And it turns out, it's actually really good. So let's jump right into the video and see what it's all about. The SoloCast comes right out of the box fully assembled along with a small quick start guide and a USB to USB-C cable. As far as desktop microphones go, this one's pretty small and compact, but it's got a surprising amount of weight to it considering its size. It weighs around 390 grams without the USB cable and most of that weight's coming from the microphone capsule. It's really solid feeling and I think it's gonna be really durable. The grate's made of metal and the rest of the body's constructed from hard plastic. There's three eight inch and five eight inch threads on the bottom that should make it compatible with most boom arms and HyperX did this the right way and made the threads out of metal so you don't have to worry about stripping or damaging them. The stand's rigid and solid. There's no shock mount like you would expect from HyperX's higher end microphones like the Quadcast, but overall I think it's gonna get the job done. My only complaint is that the base is a little bit too lightweight for the microphone capsule. This microphone is really heavy. Like I mentioned earlier, that's where all the weight's really coming from in this whole setup. So you put this heavy microphone on top of this lightweight stand and it kind of becomes this um, high center of gravity sort of top heavy type of thing. I don't think it's gonna fall over on you, but it would have been nice to have seen a little bit more stable or heavy base to use with a microphone capsule that weighs this much. You can adjust the tilt angle by loosening the tension knob on the back, then once you get the mic into the desired position, you just tighten it back up to keep it there. The stand also has the ability to rotate 180 degrees in 45 degree increments. Now I think most people are just gonna use it positioned vertically or on a boom arm, but extra adjustment is always nice to have anyway. There's no drivers or software for the solo cast, it's all just plug and play, so that means installation and setup is as easy as plugging in a USB cable, and that's it. At the very top, there's a tap to mute button, and it's a super convenient way to toggle the mic on and off. And there's also an LED indicator light on the front, so it's really easy to see if it's muted or not. I actually think this feature might be enough to get people to buy this microphone over the recently announced Razer Siren Mini. It's not like the end of the world to have to use software to mute or unmute your mic, but having that manual control is just so much more convenient in my opinion. And actually, while we're talking about the Siren Mini, let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing a direct head-to-head -head comparison between the Siren Mini and this HyperX SoloCast. I've got both of those mics on hand right now, so I could definitely make that video if enough people are interested in seeing that. And actually, I've got a couple other USB microphones kicking around that we could probably throw into the mix as well. So leave me a comment and let me know if you wanna see that. When I test microphones like this, I like to run them through a few different positions or test setups just so that users can get an idea of how positioning affects the audio quality. I think that's really important for people to see before they make a decision on buying a desktop microphone. And the other thing that you need to know about this one is that it uses a cardioid pickup pattern. And what that means is it's designed to pick up what's directly in front of it. So your goal with a mic like this is to get it set up so that it's directly in front of the audio source, which is most likely gonna be you talking. So with that in mind, let's jump right into the audio test. Let's start things off with the most ideal setup possible. I've got the microphone super close to myself. If I move it any closer, I'm probably gonna touch it with my face. That's how close it is. So what that does is it allows me to drop the microphone sensitivity or the gain on my computer down as much as possible, which is gonna give me the cleanest audio signal that I can get from this thing. So this is probably the most ideal setup and the best audio quality that you can expect from the HyperX SoloCast. Now remember, it's got that cardioid pickup pattern as well, so it's picking up what's directly in front of it. And in this case, because it's sitting in front of the keyboard, it should help block out some of those keyboard sounds behind it. So let's go ahead and do some typing and see what that sounds like. Now this next setup's a little bit less ideal than the first one, because I've taken the microphone and moved it just behind my keyboard. Now that might sound ideal, and you might be thinking, hey, I wanna use the microphone like that, because it kinda gets it out of your face and it's gonna be less distracting. But the problem with that is we've increased the distance from the audio source to the microphone, which means you're probably gonna need a little bit more gain and you'll decrease the signal quality at least a little bit. And the other big disadvantage here is you've got the microphone now facing the keyboard. Remember, the cardioid pickup pattern focuses on what's in front of it. So now it's not just me, it's also the keyboard. So let's see what that sounds like.
And finally, this third setup is actually one that I see a lot of people using with desktop microphones, and I think it makes sense. The idea here is you take the microphone and you set it off to the side. That way it's not in a direct line of sight between you and your monitor or whatever else is in front of you. So I totally get why people would want to use it like that. The big problem here is you really sacrifice that direct line pickup. And when you've got a microphone using a cardioid pickup pattern, which most USB microphones use, this one included, that's obviously not an ideal setup. So this is what it sounds like with the microphone off to the side and when you throw some typing into the mix this is what you can expect. The SoloCast is capable of recording clean, high quality audio as long as you set it up properly. And by the way, setup is key with any microphone. Even the highest end, most expensive microphones are gonna lose quality if you don't set them up properly. Because of the SoloCast is just so small, that makes it really easy to get it into an ideal position that's gonna maximize its audio recording performance. And that's really important, and it's also something that I said about the Razer Siren Mini. The new compact size of these desktop microphones that have come out recently is a huge advantage over bigger clunkier setups because it just allows you to get them in a position and makes them so much easier to work with. With all that said, if you really want to get the most out of the HyperX SoloCast, I would recommend mounting it on a boom arm. And that's for two reasons. The first is that's going to allow you to really take the adjustability and the positioning to the next level. The stand does a pretty good job, but getting it on a boom arm just makes it that much more flexible to get it in a position and make sure you're getting the best audio recording quality possible. And the second and most important thing is it's actually going to isolate it from your desk, so you shouldn't be picking up any unwanted vibrations or other sounds and stuff like that. If you paid attention during the audio quality testing, you probably noticed that when I started typing on the keyboard, all sorts of vibration sounds were getting picked up by the microphone. So a boom arm is gonna help isolate it and get rid of that sort of stuff. So keep that in mind. Um, the good news is there's a lot of boom arms that are really cheap that you can pick up on Amazon. So I'll put some links down in the description if you wanna check those out. The HyperX SoloCast is a desktop USB microphone done right. If you use it and set it up properly, the quality of the audio that you can get from this thing is awesome and it also comes with that super convenient tap to mute button on the top and that LED indicator on the front. As far as I'm concerned, this thing's the whole package for anyone that needs high quality audio recordings for gaming, streaming, and any other type of content creation really. And at just $60, it's actually pretty affordable at the same time. So I'm gonna put the purchasing links right down here in the description of this video. If you're interested in the solo cast, make sure you check those out and also leave us a comment and let us know what you think about it. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming content. And we'll see ya.